Well, good morning, everyone. I don't know what time of the day it is where you are or when you're watching this, but right now it's morning and kids are at school, so I have a chance to make some products and film. So what I'm doing today is, um, um, people call them different things, bath melts, bath truffles. I guess it depends on what you make them look like or how you make them, I'm not sure. Um, I call them bath truffles. So I've got my dry ingredients all sifted together here. I use um, baking soda, citric acid, kaolin clay, and SLSA. So those are all sifted together. And I also, for the wet ingredients, I use um, cocoa butter and a little bit of aloe extract. And I use polysorbate 80, which is the emulsifier and the dispersing agent. It makes it so the little bits of oil don't just bubble up on top of the water. They actually disperse and turn into a lotion in the water so that they do um, what the thing is meant to do and it makes it soft on your body and makes it moisturize and feel good. And I've got a little bit of color here. It's a Le bon color so it doesn't stain the tub. I've got a little bit of... Um, fragrance I decided to go ahead and use I don't know if any of you know how Brambleberry sends out these little samples all the time and I kept thinking what am I gonna do with those what am I gonna do with those but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and use the little Applejack peel that they've been sending out lately um, smells great and you only need a little tiny bit for this type of recipe so I'm gonna go ahead and use it um, I'm kind of a scent hog I have I should show you my scent cupboard one of these times. It is so full. I buy and buy and buy scents. I probably have my business to support my scent habit, <laughs> to be honest with you. But anyway, so I'm gonna pause the video for just a minute. I'm gonna go slowly, slowly melt my, my cocoa butter and I will be right back and we'll get started mixing and mixing and getting them looking pretty. Okay, I'll be right okay, back. Okay, I'm back. I've got my cocoa, um, Oh my God, cocoa butter all melted. Um, still a few pieces floating around in there. I always melt more than I need because you never know, depending on the weather, the conditions in your house, this and that, it can take more or take less. So I'd rather have extra and just reuse it with something else than not have enough and have to stop what you're doing and it gets too cool and it just can be a big mess. So I have, I'm pretty sure more than I need. So what I'm gonna do is measure out the other ingredients that I am going to have, the other liquid ingredients, and put them in this cup, put them in, kind of dry mix them around, and then um, we'll get the coconut oil mixed in. I'm going to just use one teaspoon of the aloe, and polysorbate 80 is at a 1 to 5 percent ratio, so I've got a lot of room, so I'm just going to use two teaspoons. It really doesn't take much. I'm just trying to get a little bit of a dispersing effect. I just don't want it oil slicks sitting on their water. And these are just little sample bottles like I told you before. There's not really very much in there. That's all I need. So oh, I got oil on my hands. So I'm just gonna dump the whole thing in there. I have another one if I need it, if that's not scented enough. I need new gloves. Okay, I got new gloves. I, I can't stand slippery gloves. Okay. Let's so mix this up a little bit. And I'm going to put in a little bit of pink. I don't want them to be garishly pink. I just want a little bit of pink. But I'm not going to use all of that. Got back there. I guess I need more. I don't want to spill it. I'm going to use the other Applejack. Like I said, they're not very much. So. And those also are uh, up to 5%. So that's way less than what I've got here. 
I think I may have gone close to the garishly pink that I didn't want to do. But that's okay. start pouring some cocoa butter in. So you want this like a kind of like a cake batter. you're going to pour it into the molds. Pour it, on. it can be runny. It's cocoa butter. It's set up. conflicted on the molds I'm going to use because let me show you what I usually use. I usually use those, these hearts, but I found these today and I think they're so cute. Little little squares like they're little truffles. So I'm kind of not sure what I want to do. I think I'm going to use the little squares. is going to end up being the bottom. I think my dog is in the pantry getting into something because I hear crinkling and crunching and my son is in his room and it's been going on for the last five minutes. <laughs> Now you can do one of two things. You can pop these in the fridge or you can wait 24 hours. I have no patience. I'm gonna pop them in the fridge for about two or three hours and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you what I do with them next. Yep, my dog is in the pantry. I'm gonna do melt and pour squiggles on the top. for this last one if I steal from a couple others.
that at exactly 18 minutes. See the little bubbles coming up to the top? So I'm gonna pop these in the fridge and let them set up and I should be able to bring you back today and show you the decorating. Okay, see you in a bit. Hi everybody. I went through all the steps of making these uh, with you and then I did the last step today and the video got lost. So I wanted to film them and show you how beautiful they turned out. That is melt and pour drizzles on them and melt and pour strawberries. I had so much fun making them and I had so much fun making them with you, but you didn't get to see that. So I still wanna show you the rest of the video and I wanted to show you the finished product. I hope you get to make something like this and I hope you have a lot of fun doing it and thank you for joining me and um, watching my videos. If you like what you see, please subscribe. I love to hear what people have to say and I love to share what I do with you. So um, please feel free to um, like and share and subscribe and join me again. Thanks. Bye.